that's a bigger rock. <laughs> <laughs> Shit line on the side of the pipes. Yeah. There's somewhere. Is that a fucking another fine cone or what is that? Mm -hmm. That yep. fine cones are busted all the way through here. And you know what? They're after every tee. Yeah. Yeah, somebody, uh, somebody got one it's a shitty Bosnian sewer work. You never know. It's teas. Teas are bad. <coughs> First of all, somebody needs to quit putting these underground. They need to make decorative top form where they sit like four feet off the ground. You know, like a little horse's head. Something that makes them where they sit out. Because part of them being underground is what fucks them up. I think after a certain point from the house or from the yard vent out, but you got how many yard vents? I got a lot. That's what I'm saying, four or five, so. I'm going to have to say you'd have to pay for it. Yeah, I'm pretty but good. I don't know. I don't know. You would have thought I would have had to pay to get the sewer line put in. Probably not. Huh? That was a $25,000 grant. Poles, measure, and pull an ass mess off each one of those poles and mark that permanently on a piece of paper. Oh. Like my custom caps I put on there though? Hmm? <laughs> I don't like those metal ones, they don't stay on. The only thing I know is. When water, when water rushes down this hill, yeah. there's washing mud in there. Yeah. You should have no holes in it. Well, it's got to breathe, though. You don't have to breathe. It's got to breathe. You ever made a bong? Breathe it out of your house. You breathe it out of the roof of your house. You ever been in high school? Uh, yeah. The more airflow you get to a bong, the better, right? Well, too much, and then you're smoking, you're not smoking getting air. a hit. Yeah. You get a bit, it feels like you got a big hit, but you only blow out with So you're a professional smoker. Hey. You ever use a kitchen sink in a two-liter bottle? Gravity bomb? Yeah. No. See, he knew the name of it. No, I don't know that. <laughs> Foil on the top of it? Oh, yeah. No, I don't know. Remember the old toilet paper roll with the aluminum foil? Mom won't hit and wash. Mom won't go and smoke that girl. <laughs> God, that bring back memories. There's another one. Americans are so fucking inventive. See the other fucking one right after that one? Every one of them. Those are have to be Farncos, don't they? Probably. Uh, you know what it is? It's the plastic sewer pipe that has that little fucking rubber in there, and they didn't install the rubbers right, and as the sewer pipe slid down over time, it's pulling away and letting that ring in there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hey, 
painting inside the garage. We got some orange paint. Go in there and let's mark a circle where all the damaged areas are. In the middle, between the first two doors at the top where the spray paint is. So far, we got three spots to dig up. You got three spots, dude. That's why you leave big access gates to your yard. That's where you get good at a backhoe. Now we only have this spot to fix. Don't ruin the rest yeah. of it. Easy. But they're only like two foot down. Yeah. Oh, I got six. When they get 16 foot deep, I've done these on the street before. Oh my fucking god. You know how many layers of top of some people say hit some spot in trash that's like thrown in rock, steel, structures. almost like, I kind of imagine it like every villager in the little Indian village carried like a, a handful of dirt and made, you know, as they buried people, they made the, you know, they made the little mound or something, because I've never seen dirt, look at the dragonfly, i never seen dirt so clean before, you know what I mean? Everywhere you dig, you always find shit. Yeah, it's like the, I think those bombs are all just from this continent. Yeah, well, see, and that's what I'm saying. I think they, like everybody that came to pay their respects, you know how like Navy SEALs, they bang their, their little cross into the casket when they come visit? Right. Or they'll, they'll put a quarter. It, it's kind of like the Indians did that kind of thing. Everybody brought like a handful of dirt and threw on there. So the bigger the mound, the more friends you had or whatever, or the more important you were. Yeah, there's, if you took all the grass off, okay, Mount, there's like seven different kinds of dirt on yeah. it. Yeah. Well, it's, you it's know, different colors. When you look at St. Louis City, that's what people about Cahokia Mounds, because we, uh, we, uh, we like celebrate that one or whatever. You know, it's like a monument. Well, St. St. Louis, before St. Louis, was the Mound City. Yeah. That was the name. That's what I'm saying. It was all mounds. So where we find all of our Indian artifacts is when we tear out old basement floors in the warehouses, right? Because all those were Indian mounds, and they were just leveled. Yeah, St. Louis, St. Louis used to be just like a, a cemetery. We need to pull that on water right there. Oh, yeah, I think it's come bottom of the week. See it? Yeah, it's, it's, got, it's something in there. We need to get to test of the tweezers before last night. I'm trying to dig whatever that is out. But I can't get to it because I can't see it. I can bear you know what I mean? Can you see the yellow thing in there though? Well, that's gonna, like well, that's gonna pop, but it keeps coming back because there's something in it. Like a grain of sand or something. I'm gonna run up the wall really quick. No, I don't know, so I do want to go on it. And I, I, my next thing I do, right, we can paint the windows, and then we can go to Dude's house, get this estimate. Mom! Mom, see if they, the Mom, see if they have the toilet! There's another clean-out down there somewhere. What are you doing? All right, well, there's probably, probably a clean-out right there. I, I guarantee that. Every, every place there's a clean-out, those, clean out, those uh, teams put downward pressure on the pipe, I swear to God. Plus, when the guy forces it in, I bet he forces it two to three inches low, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I guarantee if you're taking on water again, we're coming next to another tee. Mom! Maybe while you're at Walgreens, maybe while you're at Walgreens, you're at Walgreens. 
and we're about a hundred foot away from that. Did you get this one going? Yeah, it's going to go in with a project from it always. You should have a little remote control wheel with a little thing. Bluetooth fucking wheeler. To get that to go? You'd probably gain like 20 pounds. <laughs> I doubt, I doubt it. Walking. I doubt it. Some, something about your uh, job makes lunch less than appealing, doesn't it? You hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't like corn anymore. Come on, Mom. If you're getting angry, I got a frozen Snickers bar now. <laughs> Is that a payday? Yeah, we're, that, ca that camera's about that big and it's underwater now. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not a good one. Oh, boy, oh, that's a puss hat. It looks like a rat. Does that not look like a dead rat? Even though I know it's a pile or something. Is it a dead rat? Is that all mud or shit? What are you thinking? I don't smell, so it's probably mud, huh? Yeah, I can't, I can't smell it. And mud. You know, I bet uh, when it's water, this, this thing turns into a creek. You know, this little ditch down the side of the house. Right. I bet it's just flowing rocks and mud in there. Yeah, I would, and I would get a different tap. Yeah. Well, I mean, literally over there, it over, it over. I mean, this turns into five inches of flowing water. Yeah, but if you got a low spot here, yeah. it just catches all the mud. Yeah. Um, you probably could fix these spots in the, like, the spot that we're in now. Yeah. If you were to hire somebody like a jetter. Yeah, and just jet them out. Mm-hmm. I got a bad flow fucking thing. I'll just hook the fire hose up to it and fuck it. Close that clean up. Yeah, there it is. I lost. Turning the hose on there help you at all right now? I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah. So you kind of do it while you're running the camera? Uh, that's not going to be enough pressure. I know to run anything. I yeah, might run some mud. Yeah, it won't hurt. Yeah.
you got anything to cram down in this one? Oh, you mean like hose-wise? No, you uh, like block up the hole so we can fill that full of water and then pull it out and let it uh, rush through. Oh, a rag tied onto a stick, a big old pile. Like if like, you just like, crammed maybe up like a heavy-duty plastic bag of rocks in it. That's a good idea. Sand, baby? Heavy-duty plastic bag full of sand? Something that's not gonna... We'll get it... We're, 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 with, uh, five pounds of sand in it. Or even a bag with water in it.